Good morning, everyone. This is Andrew Kisson, Senior Marketing Manager with Zon Dental. We're here with Al Sablani, CEO of Envision Tech. Al, good morning. How are you? How are things? Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Everything's great. Uh, great to see you. So uh, Envision Tech headquarters uh, are in North America in Dearborn, Michigan. What is it currently like for you at headquarters or at home where you currently are uh, in today's world? So um, in today's world of COVID-19, uh, we, we, uh, we have a new terms in the company. We call it uh, BC and AC. So um, we're in the BC mode. Uh, uh, before Corona mode, the company was basically doing what it's really good at, which is selling 3D printing to many verticals, primarily uh, in the dental market. We are focused on the lab and the uh, clinical chair side. We have a great partnership with uh, Henry Schein and Zahn, uh, specifically on the lab side um, in North America. And that's what we've been doing uh, be, uh, before Corona. Uh, now, as we uh, started going through the um, uh, Corona pandemic, we had to do two things, either shut down the company and send everybody home and have them work from home or uh, try to see what little bit we can do to help with our technology. I got a call from the um, White, House, White House Task Force on uh, COVID-19 and they were looking for uh, swabs for uh, Corona testing because of the shortage of the swabs that came from uh, Copan in Italy. Uh, so we connected with uh, BIDMC, uh, which is the medical school for Harvard um, Teaching Hospital, and worked on the development of a replacement swab for the um, uh, Copan that comes out of Italy. And uh, basically within 22 days, we were able to design a swab that passed safety uh, microbiology testing, well, which is related to PCR testing for the material compatibility of the swab uh, with the virus for testing purposes. And finally, it performed very well clinically when we did a 150 patient clinical study uh, on people that were getting tested uh, for the coronavirus and compared it, this, the test with the uh, standard uh, Copan uh, swab. Uh, so after passing those three tests, we we decided that it was best for us now to uh, go to all our dental lab customers that primarily have a lot of experience in making class one medical devices, uh, such as, um, you know, dentures, uh, sleep appliances, uh, uh, night guard, drill guides. These are all class one devices and nobody was more fit than the um, dental customers who were mostly closed uh, to be called upon to help us uh, through the 3D printing of the swabs. So we were the first one to call on a, uh, some of our uh, customers that were more than happy and willing to also join uh, the fight against the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and, and, and support our efforts to try to uh, put together a solution uh, that would help expedite the testing. And we were very lucky with the combination of the uh, e-guide soft material because it's a soft material that's specifically designed for um, nasal pharyngeal swabs. Those are, we're extremely lucky with that um, uh, relationship that we've developed with all these dental labs that allowed us to deliver a, a great solution. And so about five or six weeks ago, uh, we started talking to labs like uh, Microdental, uh, DSG Group, uh, Lexier Group, um, Oral Arts, and many other labs like uh, Sykes Dental Lab, Lindy Sykes. All these guys have uh, been very happy and excited to um, go back to work and contribute. Uh, with a swab printing on one side to uh, deliver a solution so people can get tested faster. 
So as the CEO of a printing company that's been around for for years and you know has a range of printers uh, specifically for dental lab or dental medical industries, what has it been like to see your network or the network of lab users kind of jump into using that printer and technology to be able to you know deliver the greater good, if you will, um, during a time like this? Uh, the labs that we called upon uh, were using uh, specifically the technology that is needed to print the swab, which is the uh, Envision One uh, CDLM uh, printer. Um, you know, as you know, the Envision One CDLM printer uh, uh, is is the fastest printer in the market today. That's DLP based. It's also the most accurate uh, DLP printer that can build at very high speed. Um, so as you know, I invented in 2000 uh, DLP printing, and we patented it, and we commercialize it. And now, uh, in 2005, we started working on the next generation. In 2010, we um, we were granted a patent on CDLM technology, and then we launched the Envision One into the dental space. And what makes Envision One particularly interesting in the swab case is its speed. Uh, we are capable of delivering. 400 uh, swab plus swabs uh, at least twice in eight hours. And that makes us um, uh, a very highly productive machine that could be used for testing. Um, so we, when we called upon those labs, they were excited for two reasons. Number one is they have the technology in-house. They know how to work with class one devices and they can reopen and bring some of their staff in order to help um, fight the uh, coronavirus uh, and, and join the fight on the pandemic side. And, and also the fact is, uh, the, um, the other thing is it brought some revenue. Some of these people were really um, having issues generating revenue with a complete shutdown. But by joining the fight, they became medical essential and they could open and they could um, deliver uh, swabs that could be used for the pandemic. So we worked very closely with all those labs. It helped them through the Envision One to print a lot of swabs, print very highly accurate swab, probably the most favorable uh, MP swab for Corona testing in the market today. Uh, we have shipped millions of those swabs uh, as of today using our network of dental customers who have uh, joined the, um, the, uh, the effort here. And we're really excited about this because it shows the versatility of the printer not only in making medical uh, devices class one for the dental market, but we were able to use our dental users as the supply chain for the um, coronavirus fight. And that, that's great news. And it shows two things. It shows that the versatility of the printer, but it also shows that the um, dental industry uh, has risen up uh, to support the fight, and uh, they were there for it, and we're very grateful for that, and we appreciate all the hard work for all the dental labs that we opened to support us on printing swabs uh, for testing. Right, and you you just mentioned it, the versatility of the printer. Today, the MP swabs is a big opportunity for labs, but ultimately, when labs do get back to work uh, and start kind of slowly phasing in the rest of the business, being able to print and design and kind of maybe have less people in the lab per per hour, but being as productive is going to be an opportunity. How does the Envision One and the range of indications uh, really allow a lab to, to take on that more, more productivity? So I think um, the key word is versatility and material availability for the different dental indications. And I think one of the most interesting things is uh, in the versatility is the ability of the printer to print multiple materials. There are up to 12 dental materials that we currently offer. As you probably know, we're the first uh, to involve uh, 3D printing and digital dentistry in 2005. Um, we had a great uh, launch of products since then, and we continue to build our portfolio products. So people who are trying to make um, uh, crown and bridge uh, wax-ups uh, 
for pricing or whether you're trying to do um, a partial uh, framework or even if you're looking at printing dentures, uh, printing denture teeth, um, ortho applications for printing models for suck downs and potentially printing the direct printing of aligners in the future, um, uh, printing uh, drill guides, night guards, bike splints. We have a great versatility and range of products that could be used on the Envision One. So having an Envision One gives you a great versatility. Uh, that's on one side. The speed and the ability to deliver parts at very high speed allows you to use the printer during the day to deliver many indications that are uh, being used in the lab or being uh, made by the lab. One other advantage that we saw during the COVID-19 um, uh, pandemic is with the stay-at-home orders, um, the ability to go to the lab was limited. So we saw some of our customers that had been granted the ability to take their design computers home and using three shape software or other software packages were able to design and then uh, remotely able to start the printer uh, and uh, print parts while they are at home. So one of the advantages of the technology besides the versatility and material selection is also uh, the strength of control over internet. So uh, you can sit at home and you can pretty much control the printer as far as sending a job to the printer or whatever that job is and whatever material that it is that's on the printer and capable of starting the job on the printer and being able to know when the job is done, then you don't have to be sitting waiting for the parts to be printed, but rather start them from home and then just go to the lab and spend less time at work to restart or to remove the part and make your machine ready for the next job. So that helped us in, in advancing uh, the uh, use of the printer remotely uh, in a certain way because of the ability to control the printer uh, remotely. I truly believe that versatility and options to design remotely, start print jobs remotely is going to be invaluable to uh, not just labs, but businesses across uh, all spectrums moving forward. It's just the way I, I, I truly believe we are, we are headed. Uh, I, I completely agree. I think that, uh, you know, there are, there is a big deal here that I think we should be looking very closely at and, uh, you know, testing employees as they go back to work. So one of the things that we're seeing lately is companies that have more than 5,000 employees contacting us and saying, uh, how do we get this testing in house so that when employees come back to work, we're able to test them on the job and if there's an issue and they have the virus we can send them home and that way we can protect the rest of the employees so i think um the ability to print on the spot at very high speed and test employees is going to be key as part of our daily routine of going back to work and uh, that's instituted and you know, we're seeing a lot of companies right now approaches for that reason you know, this wouldn't seem like a proper uh, conversation with the CEO of a printing company without talking about digital dentures and printing dentures. Uh, where uh, we've been in the shift, we've seen it maybe more so over the past year with more and more dental labs moving to a digital denture production environment. Where do you see the industry going? Maybe if it's even going to be more accelerated because of uh, productivity and just more solutions uh, available now. Where do you see the industry going with digital dentures um, in the near future? There's a couple of things that are really uh, driving the um, uh, digital denture evolution. Um, I think what really there are uh, there are two facets to the advancement of the technology as it relates to digital ventures. The first one is basically having a software package that allows you to print, uh, that allows you, sorry, to design a denture uh, very quickly and without a lot of expert, but more of a very smart AI driven uh, design package. And I think that the uh, in the last one, uh, 12 months, 
we've seen a, a significant improvement in the uh, design modules for dentures. So um, this is the one part that would be uh, the key driver for decentralization. And then the second part of the uh, puzzle is not the availability just of the 3D printers, but also the availability of materials that would uh, support that effort. Uh, so we started um, about two years ago uh, working on materials for the denture base and the denture teeth. And we launched that these products into the market. Um, those products were what I would classify as more of a try-in and not a permanent solution. Uh, but uh, we see today, and we are working today on two products, um, the eDenture Pro and the eDent 1000. And both the eDenture Pro uh, on the base material and the eDent 1000 um, have uh, mechanical properties that are outperforming uh, those of traditionally milled uh, denture materials. I think that's a really um, a great outlook for the future. So now that we have the materials, we're going through 510K, which we were hoping to get much sooner, uh, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic has been pushed about three to four months. So we should see that material uh, probably within a six month period from today uh, at the latest. Um, we were hoping to get it in August, but I think we'll get it now um, before the end of the year as a result of the FDA backlog and uh, that they're not really focusing now on things that are not COVID-19 related. Uh, having said that, I think um, the materials are there. I think that the performance of the material uh, justifies now the ability to put a denture in somebody's mouth. I think the software is there. So we will see, in my opinion, a huge amount of activity in the denture and denture um, uh, the, in the denture space um, and uh, a significant decentralization. Uh, we will see a lot of the DSOs that will be printing um, in their offices, chair side, uh, the dentures. Um, there's another part to it, which is also quite interesting, where we are seeing people that are doing uh, full arch same day dentures, uh, uh, like Dr. Ryan Dunlop, where they're actually not printing with two materials. And by that, I mean the pink denture um, base and the denture teeth, but they are printing in the uh, teeth material, the complete denture in, and the teeth in one single piece and have one person in there doing the, col the coloring or the characterization. And uh, we're seeing some of that activity growing quite a bit um, as we see a lot more people uh, deploying dentures into their offices. So we see quite a bit of it on the lab side uh, as the speed of design, as the material capabilities improve. And we also see a chair side where uh, the doctors that are looking to do what I call same day full arch um, uh, dentures uh, are deploying it. So the future is great, the future is bright, and the material that is gonna be um, released will definitely deliver solutions that traditionally were milled or traditionally were poured. Al, thank you so much for the time. I know now more than ever, you and Vision Tech are uh, busy with more important things to do. So we appreciate the time and you know, look forward to seeing what continues to come out of one of the most innovative companies in 3D printing along with materials in the future. Um, really appreciate the time and everything you and the company have done um, for the industry moving forward. Thank you so much for having me. And again, I'd like to uh, wrap up by saying thank you to each and every dental lab owner that have uh, responded to our needs and have reopened the lab to print swabs for us and also print uh, some of the face masks that have been used now by the dentists. Thank you again. I appreciate your time.